Greetings, everyone. This is Gerard and the Filipino Soul Magazine, aka SGIB Magazine, San Francisco. As you can see, I have blood, blood on my hands. You see, blood. I went upstairs to smoke a cigarette because I can't smoke in the rooms. Last time I was here, I smoked in a room and I signed the paper that says no smoking. So when I checked out, they came up and checked the room. And they said, oh, you smoked in a room. I said, oh, no, I didn't. I didn't smoke in a room. It wasn't, it wasn't me. <laughs> so, so what happened was that, um, <clears throat> I don't like well, we'll let it do its thing. So what happened was that they came up and they smell <sighs> smells like smoke. And when they flush the toilet, they see ashes. I said, it still wasn't me. <laughs> so to make a long story short, I try to use my influence <laughs> to uh, to say, ah, ah, let me go. <laughs> but no, 2,000 pesos is 2,000 pesos. Before I tell you why I have blood on me, um, a lot today is dealing with uh, ambassadors. Rather, you're an ambassador of Ukraine, the UN, ambassador of or whatever. When you visit other countries, whether you know it or not, you are an ambassador. You are the ambassador of the country you come from. And people judge you. Or judge, you, judge your, your, your country by the way you act. I remember I was driving. I was driving my van. And there was an older couple on my right. I look out the window, I see he wanted to probably go in front of me. So I slowed down, but he slowed down and came up from behind me. So I'm thinking like this, and I see him on this side, I go, whoa, like this. He said, ooh, if you hit me, ooh, what kind of people are you? <laughs> I said, oh, wow. I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said, I'm a foreigner. I'm learning how to drive in your country. And his wife, who was older, remind me of my my mother and her, and her husband, my stepfather. You know, uh, he would complain, and and and, and she would just go, you know, <laughs> you know, you know that look when the mother or the wife wants to say something. It's him. It's not you. It's him. Well, that that was the look like she gave. It's like uh, like this. Oh, what kind of people are you? Wow. <laughs> so anyway, getting back to being an amb ambassador. I tend to look at myself as an ambassador of, this, of the U.S., more so of black Americans. You know what I'm saying? That's what they call me. Uh, not just American, they call me black American. And um, uh, so I tend to subconsciously do a little more, give a little more, smile a little more, you know, and, and, be, and, and sometimes go out my way to be a lot more kinder. Because uh, uh, I want them to remember this black American on how nice he was. For example, that when I drive, there's a group of kids always playing uh, a basketball. So I stop. Every now and then I bring them a big soda. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Or when I'm driving, I see a mother with a baby. Or a father with a baby. I stop and give them 20 paces or 100 paces. Hey, this is for the baby. This is for the baby. You know, uh, and numerous of them. And, and the countless hamburgers I buy for the kids, forget about it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, because you know, you know, I want them to be to have a pleasant experience when they come into my world, into my circumference. Okay? Because that's what this is. This is my world. This is my world. If you're just waking up, welcome to my world. <laughs> that's how I look at it. You know, and um, you know, uh, uh so uh. I always go out my way to want to do more and to help more. And um, to 
me there is an I love this part. This song is called uh, the moonlight. The moonlight under the under the yellow light under the moonlight, and that's what it's about. It's about a guy singing about you know uh, the best line of life is like my love for you will, is will travel to the moon and back, and that's that's first what it's about. The reason I, I I picked this song let me let me pause it here because. You know, I picked this song because <clears throat> in there that the video is kind of weird because there is a scene in there where uh, the couple is very nice. It's called Buan. It's uh, B U W A N, so you can Google it yourself. And it's by uh, Juan Carlos uh, J U A N K A R L O S. And you know, it starts off nice. They're driving and they pull over and they're on this road, and the music is playing. And the girl gets out the car and she's frolicking, she's having a nice time, she's dancing in the street, listening to the music like this. Like, this is just such, it's such a romantic scene. And he's watching her, he's watching her. And then he looks and he sees down the road there's a car coming. So, I, she, oh, she's not paying any attention to it. You know, not that she's in any danger or jeopardy of being hit. But he goes, he grabs her and says, what are, we, what are you doing? Are you stupid? What is this like this? And he totally goes ballistic and I don't understand it. I don't understand how you can like that towards someone you love. And then in the car, she's driving and she's like saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's like, oh, like this, like this, like this. So anyway, so that's why this song struck me getting back to the blood I don't want to go too far so I couldn't smoke in the room so I go upstairs in the smoking area and I have my, my cigarette and I try to answer my 85 notifications <laughs> but I keep getting interrupted by somebody who keeps texting me <laughs> that's the most frustrating thing when you're trying to work and, and you tell okay I can't talk now bing I can't talk now bing I, I, I'm it's like you want I said I can't talk shit <laughs> but God bless them I'm glad they're out there I'm glad I'm loved by so many people I'm glad I love so many people but anyway so I'm uh, so I'm up there answering my, my text and all this stuff and you know, I'm on a minute, uh, limited amount of time before I have to go to the bathroom, so I'm conscious of that. So I pack up and I decide to go. And it was like a, a scene, a scene out of the movies. When the old elevator opened, it was this beautiful Filipino girl who was drunk or beaten up, blood all over her, and she claps and she claps backwards and tomorrow that's why I have too much blood on the, on the front of me but uh, you know uh, she was bleeding and she was like oh this oh and I pushed the button and took her downstairs and and, and, Karen and I got into the lobby I said help somebody help 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 of course them damn foreigners again them beat up another Filipino girl <laughs> No, it was anything like that at all. But I'm thinking, oh, she with you? <laughs> and she, she you guess? I said, let me tell you, I wish she was. She was, she was beautiful. And they start laughing. But, you know, I kept saying, don't go to sleep. Don't Because one thing you don't want to do when someone has a head injury is do not let them sleep. She was incoherent. She couldn't talk. She could always just roll her eyes like this. And I'm, I'm holding her. So, you know, I, I bring her over to the bench and... I sit her down and, and now there's a few people coming around, just standing around and call an ambulance, call an ambulance. So um, yeah, so in the meantime, I, I'm trying to keep on pulling her hair and pulling it this way just to get her to open up her eyes and all this stuff. And then ultimately, the ambulance came and it took her away. But um, um, that's how my day started. How was yours? <laughs> Gerard and she Filipino Soul Magazine I believe I told you that 
<clears throat> but um, there is an invisible society out there. Oh, getting back to being an ambassador. I do the same thing in the United States. I consider myself, you know, um, uh, um, an, an ambassador for the black people. You know, uh, I'm always going out my way to do more. You know, I go in the store and I buy magazines and newspapers I don't read just to let them know, yeah, we do read. <laughs> But I, I don't. But then, you know, I, I I just go out my way for people to have a good experience in meeting with me, a good experience of 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 breaking their perception of what they perceive to think who I'm supposed to be and be like, you know, and it's good. So you know. You're more so an ambassador in another country than you are on your own. But you can be an ambassador for your race. You know how? By 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 not um uh by not uh perpetuating the negative stereotypes that others have of us or you. You know, it, it has to stop somewhere. Sometimes when I, when <laughs> I get a lot of flack for this, when I'm around a group of brothers and all stuff like this, uh, why do you always? I said, I tell them, I said, you know, why, you know, why are we always gonna talk about crime? Why are we always gonna talk about who we wanna <laughs> bang? <laughs> you know, or who we wanna talk about? You know, uh, who will make a good mark? <laughs> you know, like me. You know, you know, you know. Why don't we talk about each other's families? You know, one thing I do here about the Filipinos when I say hello to them. And um, and I um, uh, uh, after I say hello, I say, "How's your family?" They go, "Huh? Is your family okay?" They say, "Yes." I said, "God is good, isn't He?" Yes, because you know, no matter what you have, or you know, or or, or, or what you don't have, you you know, it, you know, you can say blessings or whatever, but there's things. It can always be. It can always be a lot worse always be a lot worse it doesn't have to be but it always can uh, yesterday I went to a church I was invited to a church I'm gonna post a video if it posts here that'd be fine uh, I posted a video uh, uh, I did a I, I spoke I spoke at the church and it was nice that, you know I, I was glad I was invited to go to the church and speak you know it's um and my god the chorus I mean the choir Oh my God, oh my God. I never felt so moved by the voice of this young girl, these two girls. And you know, it was just a simple, just, you know, repetitive, you know, thing, but you could just see.
feel what being blessed is like, you know, or looks like, you know, go to a third world country. Because in spite, in spite of, in spite of, you know, there's a lot to be thankful for. I'm thankful for a lot of things. I truly am. You know, I don't believe in foxhole prayers. You heard me say, I'll tell you this again. You know, a foxhole prayer is when you get into trouble and then you say, oh God, please help me out of this and I will go to church. Oh God, oh God, where are you? God, oh God, 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 help me out this situation. Oh God, God, God. You know, uh, I don't believe in those. I found myself in situations sometimes and I refused to ask God to help me. All I said was, you know, que sera, sera. What will be, will be. You know. And just leave it at that. It's always worked out for me. <laughs> Rather to my advantage or disadvantage, Meg Guzenraff that I thought was Afghanistanian, but it means everything passes. Yeah, everything passes. Now, let's talk about this invisible society I was talking about. A lot of times, you know, I have this thing that if I'm walking or driving or, or whatever, if you make eye to eye contact with me, I say good morning. My bootdog, my hobble, my own DBE, my auto, good afternoon, how you feeling? Uh, I, you know, I say hello <laughs> and as you can imagine I say hello a lot because there's not a lot of a lot of people who, who've seen anybody like me before uh, but more so when they don't see me I say hello to the old people because a lot of times we pass old people and we don't acknowledge them you know and it's unfortunate it's unfortunate because no matter how you look at them, it's because of them why you're here. It's because of their sacrifice. It's because of what they went through that paved the way for you. You know. So I make sure I say hello to old people. I go on my way to stop and have conversations with old people. You know. Uh, and young and children this this country allows me to stop and talk to a young teenager or a 10 year or 11 year old and say hi how are you what's your name oh my god you're so beautiful you're going to be a beautiful young lady when you grow up and smile and blush and, and like this and maybe give us some money buy her candy or whatever you know and and no one thinks the wiser it's just someone being kind to them in the United States, I, <laughs> oh, oh, he, he did a part talking to children, I love like this, but not his own, oh. <laughs> so that's why I like the Philippines, it's very nice. Some people say, oh, Gerard, you're running for mayor, you say hello to so many people. <laughs> I said, no, I'm not running for mayor. Barong guy captain, maybe, <laughs> but not mayor. No, but it's all, it's all about, you know, making the elderly not appear to be invisible. Sure, you see them at home and, and home or whatever, but when they're out in the world, man, it doesn't take much to say, good morning, ma'am, how are you? And she smiled because I'm sure just like a woman or old man, you know, you know, I'm not invisible. People see me. People see me. I'm just not walking to here to there and nobody sees me and nobody cares. No strangers still say hello to me. And, and and it makes their day. It makes their day. All right. I guess I I uh, started to say off on it. <laughs> on the good foot as the Godfather so Mr. James around once said. Someone saved a life tonight. You know, but anyway. So remember, dreams are nothing more than plans awaiting action. Never disrespect the elderly. Always pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes, you're the uh, only one who can see your vision. And the best revenge in life is to live good. I'm living good today. I don't know about you.
And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ollie Woodson, former lead singer of The Temptation Lisa, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like Double O G, make him feel like a king. And remember, I will always love you. I love you like a love song, baby. Let me show you the beginning of the video. Oh, I said, wait. I see you want to know who I am? Superman! <laughs> okay, let's watch that. If you see it, watch it. Sana Aida Bihana Sa Ilalim Nambuti. She's dancing. She's having a good time. Sa Dilam Lamboy. She's dancing in the street. And he walks around. He's looking at her. She's so happy. Such a beautiful woman. And a car down the street's coming. And, looks, and he sees it. What are you doing? Ah. He holds it. Then he thinks. What are you doing? Do you see the car? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Are you out your mind? So stupid. I hope you treat your women, treat your women better than that. I'll talk to you later. Peace.